Hello and welcome to race number eight of the K5 Championship Season 1. Uh, I think it's race number eight, right? I'm going to sound pretty dumb when I say something that's different from in the title, but <laughs> hopefully that's correct. Race number eight. Uh, all I need to know is the race is at Nashville Super Speedway, and this place is wonderful. So, very excited to get this started. I think we're going to have a very non-Bristol-like experience here today. <laughs> Probably uh, a lot less cautions, maybe even some green stops. So I will, uh, I have been practicing green flag pit stops. And I will after my qualifying as well, which I need to focus for right now, so pardon me. Okay. Go a little silent, because this is, of course, very, very important. Alright, that's pretty good. About a half a tenth off my best, right there. Get too loose now. Don't hit the wall either. Oh, that was uncomfortably close. <laughs> okay, well. Trying to sabotage myself, but we're good for now. Ooh, even better through one and two that time. Let's not screw it up in uh, three and four this time. I think this is a tiny bit better. 3A8 to A348. Alright. <laughs> we managed to go down. But, uh, okay, I'll take that. My best all time is a 299. But can't expect to just whip that out whenever I want to. <laughs> so, I will definitely take about a half tenth off of that. And uh, it looks like right now we are in P4. My pedals also slid from under me for a second there, and I do not enjoy that. So I'm going to make sure that those are going to stay <laughs> anchored for the race. I don't need to be chasing my pedals around the room while I'm racing. But we are P5 for now. Chuck on pole. Very nice lap. A whole tenth faster. I have not been able to get a 246. So that's very good. He's a very uh, fast racer, so... He's going to be one to beat today. And then I like to start breaking right after this ally sign. Give it a gentle break and then start giving hard break right about where that line is. And that should be good enough. So get it parked. I'm uh, okay with how my time has gone. Check my pedals here, see if I can make sure. We Make sure my pedals are grippy and on the floor. I got hardwood floors. Making sure they're not like dusty or anything, nice and stuck to the ground. So, got race lab working. Got crew chief, but crew chief has no idea what an ARCA car is, so he can't really help me with the fuel here. Um, so we got Chuck on pole, JP, second, Shane with a very good lap there, actually ties for second, interestingly enough. Three sets of tires today, that's also interesting to know. Uh, there are my settings I've gone with, plus negative three in car as well for a 57% brake bias. Scott at 213 in practice, so uh, he's going to be really fast. Just a little bit behind us there. Very tight. You can see, I mean, we literally have people tying, so you can see how tight the field is. Gavin back here. Where did Nick go? Ooh, Nick down here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. He almost didn't make his own race. I mean, he had a good, what is that, like six spots, but that's pretty close for his own race. James barely made it. 
He's really fast too, so... Not sure who Cameron Junaski is. I, maybe that's a relative of Mitch. Unfortunately, they didn't make it. Which is too bad. Always cool to see some new names in here as well. Dan what happened to Daniel? Oh, he just connected. Did he disconnect by accident at some point? What happened? He was just talking about how he was practicing, but he missed qualifying. That's, that sucks. Huh. Nick King misses out just barely. He was in the last race, I believe. He's been in a couple of races. Joe makes it just barely. 32nd. I feel like we haven't seen Logan for a little while. I remember he was in just about every late model race. And I think he's been in a couple of races, but I don't know if he's made he's made all of them. I don't think so. Mitch down there in 19th. Jeremy got pole last time. He's 16th this time, right behind Landon. Alex there in 13th, right behind Gavin. David, Laubic. 11th. So, very competitive race. We did, in fact, get 6th. Uh, I will take it. Wesley in front of us. Or, you know, to the left of us. One spot ahead of us. So... We'll take a. We'll watch the warm up, the heat race. While we're waiting, this is a little bit loud. Put that down just a tiny bit. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything important here. Same rules as always. Quick cautions will be short once the free pass happens, as usual. Okay. And if we unfortunately wreck really quick, we will have a single file line, but I'm hoping that won't happen this race. Like I said, hopefully not going to be the Bristol experience tonight. These races usually are very clean. So. Alright. Nick, Raymond, Alan, Cameron. Is your heat okay, race Colton, field? Watch for the lights. Got a four car blitz. <laughs> Here, three laps. P2 looked like they were in fourth gear or something. So, not surprisingly, Nashville Super Speedway is my favorite super speedway, quote unquote. <laughs> Obviously, not a super speedway. If you are unfamiliar with this track, it is named Nashville Super Speedway because of Nashville Fairgrounds, which was originally known just as Nashville Speedway. And so when building this one, they wanted to avoid confusion, so they called this one Nashville Super Speedway to help make it sound distinct. I remember looking that up because I was really confused why they called this a Super Speedway. <laughs> so it looks like we got Nick up here. Nick King, not Neben with a nice commanding lead and in a short race that's pretty darn important we'll see if uh, Alan can do anything for him here maybe he'll try the Ross Chastain move in 3 and 4 <laughs> I'm sure anyone that watches NASCAR is familiar with what that that was earlier today with what he did there that was insane I'm expecting a lot of people on iRacing to try that now Honestly. No one in this race, though. I'm, I'm not looking forward to people being like, Well, they did it in real life, so I did it on iRacing. Boy. But, very straightforward Checking heat race there. We're gonna double check our settings. They should stay just the same. I'm gonna go out here and just, uh... Have some fun during the warm-up, waiting for this thing to start, see if the track feels any different. It's a nice overcast day, which means cooler track conditions, which means more grip, but also uh, could get tighter. So that's something to keep in mind.
I'm gonna practice getting off of pit road quickly. That's the part some people forget about. You gotta get off pit road quick too. And it's tough here because it's very slick on this access road. So if you're doing green flag pit stops, you can gain and lose time on exit just as well as you can on entry as well. Oh no, damn, that he just uh, missed the time. I almost uh, lost track of time. I was uh, <laughs> subscribing to uh, Rob's YouTube channel. He mentioned his YouTube channel on Gavin's Discord. And I was like, oh, I'll check out his YouTube. And looks pretty good to me. He had a sprint car race that I kind of want to look, I want to watch. <laughs> I don't get to, I haven't seen too many of those races. Um, paved sprint cars. And uh, I looked up and it was seven. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> don't miss the race. That would be a sad way to lose my championship hopes. Be the Three. Michael Waltrick, I'm at the wrong track. <laughs> that old commercial. Show up to Nashville Fairgrounds by accident. Stinks, because, uh, Daniel was just talking about how it was a little more comfortable with the queue time he had been able to set. He was looking forward to making the race, and he would have with the point three time that he had. Oh, I have the muted still. I muted him just for the uh, start of the race. So, don't be paranoid, check this. And hop yeah. in the car. I'm excited. Very excited. I think this will be a great race. 150 laps. You in Canada, Jeremy? Interesting. Only an estimated 65 or so laps on fuel, and usually that is a little bit overestimated. Okay, it's 39.73. So right. we might have a double pit stop here. This could be very interesting. Yep, that's what I got too. <laughs> so I might divide this race Hmm. The thirds, 50, 100. Nick was saving him, saying he might have to save a little bit. Bearing on the back, that erased my graphic stuff and might affect me a little bit. So just let me know if that's what's happening. Nick was saying you might have to save a little bit to get to uh, lap 15. Can you have the same internet? So we will see. Yes, I do. You'll be good, then. Gavin made the race this time. <laughs> uh, recently, I've, I've, I've had issues where, like, at the, at the very start races, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm most busy at the moment. Oh, yeah, there's Rob, the guy I just subscribed to his channel for. <laughs> Looked like pretty good stuff. I gave it a brief look and subscribed, and I I'll probably watch some later. My latency bar is slightly up. I think it's like Gronsky with three yeah, eyes or something like that. <laughs> yeah, 30 looks like a second bad. gear start. I'm the 39. And uh, we'll take it easy. Tire saving is going to be important. So. Green flag. Green flag. Okay. Bit of a slow start. Inside. Clear inside. Guy ahead. But that's all right. We're not in a hurry. Cut my nose, that's fine, I guess. I wasn't there, so. <laughs> I'm not trying to fight for positions right now. I'm trying to get the angles that I want into the corners. Outside. Trying to be on my right rear. Keep low. Why do you keep chopping my nose, dude? 
has just done a 30 point take. That's annoying. <sighs> That's fine. The brake bias back, I meant to do that before we started. Why are you diving in on me? What are you guys doing? Chill yeah. out. God. The leader has just done a 30.4. You've just done a 30.9. The car in front of lap time is a 30.6. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh oh. Is there a wreck that Gavin is involved in? Hope not. Oh, <laughs> Wesley. That's okay. Can't really text and drive. Nor should you, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Ooh, yeah, I'll try to give him a no problem. I'll save it. Nah, yeah, yeah. I'm just glad that you were able to get something to be able to make here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now I was just trying to save tires. You're being blinking bad here, 30. Very interesting how much grip we have. The track definitely feels grippier. Like, you know, I'm not getting as loose on exit as I've experienced in previous conditions of the track. So that tells me I need to be careful, not let the car get tight. For everyone racing around me, am I stabilized now? That felt pretty good. Nice and on the right rear. Maybe a little too sideways. But not out of control, so I'll take it. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. So we are P5 for now. Uh, in regards for strategy, I am going to do. You know, if we if I end up in a position where we're under yellow flag or something, I'm gonna follow what other people are doing because I am tired of making the dumb decision and uh, hurting myself, which I keep seeming to uh, want to do. Oh, you got it out of the way. I think we should be able to make it 50 laps. I don't it know seems if you like. can stain it here though. Yeah, I don't think it'll help you too much at this track. <laughs> that Chastain move is the talk of the town today. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, I don't think that would work here. That's a bit too long around that high side here for that to work, I think. But. Like, I don't I don't know that that should be legal, but maybe I'm the only one that feels that way. I mean, if you got the balls to do it, man. But how would everybody feel if that was a, um, he does that to win the championship in Phoenix? I would love it. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't have to have done it if there weren't playoffs. So, hopefully I'm doing okay with the tire saving. We'll see soon enough. I feel like I'm doing an okay job. Chuck seems to be uh, interested in driving away. He might be able to save tires and go out that far though. So that might work out for him. We'll see. But uh, running top five again, I'd like to keep it this time, unlike Bristol, where I threw it away. Thank you, Gavin. Thanks. Cup times are pretty consistent. Times are consistent, that's good to hear. And Gavin, you feeling okay tonight? You're all over the place. 
Don't talk about Gavin's driving. Make him so I've been really uncomfortable in the car ever since I fixed my computer. Since I took that two days off. Yeah, he was talking about that. He had the two really days off because the computer broke for a second. Pretty much what about that I've talked about that before. Like even just missed like not racing for a couple days, you get out of practice so quickly. It's hard to even describe unless you've kind of done it before. But driving is such a rhythm thing that even just losing a couple days, it, it can take you a second to get back into the swing of things. It's a real thing. I've, uh, like I said, I've mentioned it before too. Being out of the car for a little bit can really mess with your racing. But keeping steady, we're not the only person really pulling away a bunch is Chuck up there. Got a little bit of pressure from behind, but nothing too crazy. They look like they might be about to battle ahead of us. If the 6 tries to make a pass, I will make it easy on them, because I do not want to fight side by side right now. We are 10% of the way through this race. So, lots to go, obviously. So if he gets a run on me and uh, gets his nose, I will not be fighting it much. Need him to not run me over, though. I just, I'm trusting him not to. Inside. Didn't have a nose there, but I Still left there. it open for him. Still there. Still there, hold your line, V6. Clear. Took that a bit weird. I wanted to try to do that as smoothly as possible, but I kind of did it really weird. <laughs> oh well. We got a cheering section <laughs> for the 10 car, I guess. Who's the number 10? I don't actually know. That lap time was 21.4. Dude, so back to six, but that's okay. I don't feel like uh, I'm falling back or anything from tires. The car still feels fine. I think I'm just going a little bit softer right now than Scott wanted to. I'm going to stick to my plan here. Make sure I'm throttling up. Only once we're kind of most of the way through the corner, so that way I'm getting on the right rear when I'm on throttle instead of pushing upward. We got a nice gap after 8th back there, behind Rob. Mmm, look low, kinda got me a little upset there. Just missed my angle a tiny bit. Not a big deal. Are we clawing back to the six? I let him buy real easy. Hopefully he'll do the same. Yeah, he me wrong. I followed but, you right into the wall. But uh, he doesn't have to, of course. Just would be very nice if he did. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm catching him or not. Looked like we were for a second, but that remains to be seen for sure.
Caution free so far. Love it. Sounds like there were some weird issues at the start. Maybe related to what Gavin was up to. Sounds like everybody saved it and everybody kept it going. So you're still green flag. Pass attempt going here. JP's making it easy on him. Take it inside, 84 on this one. Might be under driving exits. I might want to get a little bit more aggressive with the throttle. Get that rotation. That lap time was 31.3. Chuck does not seem to be falling off at all, but we are still early. Hey, Joe, if you get the run, I ain't gonna fight for 25th. Saw Scott up there get sideways. Thank you. Wesley might be falling off up there. Unless he just had a mistake. And these cooler temperatures are really screwing me. I thought I got had a good handle on the car and the setup, and then <laughs> the cooler temperature did not help me. Shifted through exit there quite a bit. Yeah, it's definitely a curveball. You get used to how the race uh, runs during the official series if you use that to practice, and then the car runs just a tiny bit different once you actually get out here. You have to adjust to that. Can make it tricky. Rick up there being very supportive to everybody. <laughs> that still feels great though. So far so good. But it's not really translating to much in terms of speed unfortunately at the moment. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. How are we doing on fuel? Looking pretty good. Oh, that's what Nick was saying. Could do 50-50-50, or you could do 75-75. That's what it was. So it wasn't close on making it 50 laps. It was close to making it 75. So I think the plan is go as far as we can. I don't think we can make it 75. That was a Ooh, that make that's a tough decision. That's too many laps. I don't see uh, being able to save almost 10 laps of fuel. That's way too many laps. Short track, maybe more possible, but this track is uh, 1.3 miles. So 10 laps of that, even 9 laps of that, which is what I think it's actually closer to. That's kind of a lot, so I think we're going to divide it into thirds. So lap 50, probably going to come in. Got three guys right on top of each other right there, pretty much. Right ahead of us. Chuck's on his merry way. He's just having a Sunday drive. Literally, because it is Sunday. They're pushing hard, trying to make passes. 
That's Shane in second. Shane's having a great run. We are starting to catch up to these guys ahead. They are making me a little bit nervous. Wesley got passed twice that lap, so he's falling off, it would appear. Turning up the heat a little bit. Using the tires up. Just a little more. left. So I'm watching Chuck out there and thinking maybe it's worth it to push a little bit harder. Not kill the tires, of course, but feel willing to push a little harder because he's out there and he's kind of sticking out there. I got a little too loose. You've just done a thirty one point five. Hmm, bad corner. Kind of took a shallower entry there. Didn't really work out though. Didn't quite like it. much better. That lap time was 31.5. Already approaching our planned pit stop. Still, what, 11 laps away or so, but... How do we get around this? Gotta try to set something up here. Well not all that much faster than he is. I caught him, but I don't know if I have enough to pass him. Pretty darn even. Is that lap traffic I'm seeing ahead? It looks like Chuck's coming back to us a little bit. And I'm seeing lap traffic 
past him, I think. <laughs> so, tires are starting to feel the worn, but that's because I have been purposely pushing a little bit since we are approaching the pit window for us. It's going to come in right on 50, right on the dot. No undercut or anything. Ryan's right behind us. Ryan might pass us. I think he's done a good job of saving tires. Ooh, loose moment for Scott up there. Looks like he almost ended up in the wall. That was a bit of a moment. Mm, got tight there, did not like the feeling of that. Overdrove it. I was not happy about that one. Maybe hit the apron there a little bit. That lap was at thirty-one point six. Look how much better my one and two are this lap. Yeah, I really messed it up last time. Whole tenth. So five to go till our estimated pit in time. Gonna drive in hard now. Use the rest of the tire. Use it or lose it. We're taking them off my car and we're never getting them back, so. Might as well get the most I can out of them. Chuck's still slowly moving back, maybe, but only a tiny bit. Got maybe a pass for third up there. Okay, Colton, you've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Crossover, not so much. Yeah, Chuck's falling back pretty fast now. We got some people heading into the pits already. Going for the undercut. Not a terrible idea. Scott pitting in. That's right ahead of us. Hmm, <laughs> that was scary. JP, not in the right spot for that. I think Shane made a late decision. You're in fourth position. Outside. What are we doing here, guys? Stay low. Stay pitting low. in here, pitting in. Still Already there. down here, so I'm going to do Clear it. Pitting in, 84 pit this Car time. Outside. Clear outside. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per Don't hour. Don't block Wesley from his pit stall, so I'm going to come down here. Alright, everything's set up correctly. It's that way. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Alright. Oh, he slid past his box. 68-69. Oh, I meant to do 68-82. Okay, go. There's traffic approaching. Watch your mirrors. Oops, that was supposed to be 68-69. 75 hitting. 
Wish it were 69.69. That would mean I would be 1% better outside. on my right front. Stay low. Outside, clear. Car outside. Outside, the clear. The lead is bidding now. Outside. Hopefully no one pitting. Outside. Okay. Clear up top. Car outside. 82 pitting here. 82 pitting here. E23. Clear high. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high oh, side. Cotton. Clear high. Uh, on the lane. Point one point five. So gonna run under him. The lead is bidding now. Well bitten. I'm gonna push a little bit harder this run. Be harder on the throttle on exit. I was a little bit nervous early on. I'm really gonna go for it this time. Gavin, I didn't know if I was gonna hold you off there or not. Hopefully that was a good green flag pit stop for us. We are going to get yeah, I'm just very close. Really just trying to be careful after the Legends race. Close to Chuck. Pitting behind is now 1.3. So next plan would be lap 100 or so. I think I'm going to follow Chuck's lead because he. Was obviously the leader after this first run. Oh no, I got loose. Uh, he was the leader after this first run, so he must know what he's doing. I'll try to mimic his line a little bit. 39 pitting here. In four. Hmm, he's real good, I can tell. He uh, takes a very wide entry, but gets on the brakes pretty solid, it looks like. Gets that cut down, and then is very. Fast but smooth on the throttle. A little bit smoother than I'm able to be, it looks like, but I'm gonna try. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm trying to be as smooth as he is. Keep the wheel straight like the like I saw him doing, but I don't know if I can do that. Definitely going to try to be uh, more on the right rear this time, though. We uh, got about three seconds past Wesley. Not sure how that happened. And Ryan Thompson back there. I guess that's just one lap undercut. That's what gave us that? I'm not sure. P6. The lap time was... Lap traffic in the racing line. Okay, we'll take one uh, corner a little bit softer. Why are you doing that, man? Inside. Still inside. Go high. Still there. Clear. Now I have to take a worse line for the tires and a slower line. That's okay. He's doing his best. That lap time was 30.9. I sped on pit road. Oh no, Jeremy. Sped on pit road. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 0.9. Look at all this time we lost that just that one time being uh having to take an unoptimal line. We got a lap bar blinking in front of us now. Thank you to him. Shane's behind us as well. So we did uh, overtake some guys, I think. We we're still in six, but I think we got some guys that have not hit yet, maybe. I would not be surprised if one of them is Nick, trying to make it to lap 75. It's not. Somebody might be, though. Trying to make it to 75, I mean. Chuck is just better than I am. That is <laughs> what I'm seeing here. He's pulling away. 
Logan, Joe, Blair, I think, are all guys trying to make it to lap 75. Very interesting. They'll probably have to go a little bit slower in order to save the fuel to do that. But if they can make it, it'll be very interesting to see how that cycles out. Chuck's got a pass Scott up there now. Oh, I think we got some wall too. This could be what we need to get some sort of advantage over Chuck, because I don't think I have one otherwise. I think him trying, having to try to make a pass is going to be something that works in our favor. In terms of catching both him and Scott, because both of them are seemingly faster than I am. Or at least they were for that first run. Very impressive speed from Chuck, though, for real. Like, the way he was just right in front of us and, and pulled away. I know he's got two lap fresher tires, but that's not doing that much. He's just fast. He looks like to be the one to beat today, based on what I've seen so far. There goes the 25 of Logan into the pits. That's not enough to make it on a single stop. So that just ends up being a uh, non-optimal pit strategy. That's going to hurt him a little bit, unless he gets the perfectly timed caution or something. It's a car exit in the pits. So we are P5. Still got two people out. Again, they have to make it to lap 75 in order to eliminate a pit stop from this race. Like I said, that's a long way to go. Logan out ahead of us, but he will be on fresh tires, so he should pull away. Won't be seeing him for long, I don't think. We are essentially in third place right now. Trying to make up lot with Chuck in the lead. Unless those two can save the fuel. And even if they do, going slower might eliminate the advantage they would have had, depending on how much slower they go. That's what makes it very interesting. I love these strategy races where you have to make a call like that, so you just don't know quite what is the perfect strategy. Being a tenth and a half uh, slower than my previous lap is not a good strategy, I can say that. I don't know what I did wrong that lap. <laughs> I'm just not paying attention enough. Car is feeling good. I think I'm happy with being a little more aggressive on throttle. I think it's allowing me to go faster while still being okay on the tires. So there's Joe. I, that's not going to be long enough. So we've got one more out here going long. That is Blair in the number two. You got it, bud. I'm rooting for him. I love when a unique strategy really works out for someone. Even if it's not technically good for me, specifically. I'm rooting for him. Because that's fun. That's fun stuff. There's Joe coming out of the pits up there. Thanks, Rick. Let's go, Brandon. The lead is pitting now. Okay. There is the leader. That's... They'd have to save a whole lot to make it the rest of the way. I don't think they can do it. Unfortunately. Yeah, I actually qualified good for one. So I'm happy about my decision. I can't say the same. I qualified for one. To divide it into threes. 
We are actually pulling away from Shane and Wesley back there. Yeah, I don't know or at least Shane, I don't know if Wesley's catching. Three, point three, so. And your leader is only two seconds ahead. If he falls off hard and then somehow my maniac driving <laughs> is enough on the right rear, we uh, might be okay in a, in, in a good position. He's still got two lap fresher tires though. But we also still have another entire green flag pit stop cycle to go if this stays green. First cycle is essentially complete. We got guys on faster tires still moving. But uh, I think the true leader is up there. I the apron in three and four. I've done it a couple times. It is hard work fighting this steering wheel to do the counter steer though on throttle. I'm doing my best to make it not visible because if it's not visible it means I'm handling it in a steady way. But you do have to move the wheel around quite a bit to prevent the thing from getting sideways. You'll be able to see it down here in the bottom left on exit. Playing with that steering wheel. That's what it looks like in real life, I assume. I can't really look at it. I assume it's a pretty accurate representation of what <laughs> is actually going on. Gap two, uh, might be catching Scott up here. I'm going to keep an eye on that gap. I know we're losing to Chuck still, because he was at 2 seconds, now he's at 2.2 or so. Feeling much better about this run, though. I think being more aggressive on exit is helping me. So we're at 1.2 now to Scott. We'll see where we are at the end of this lap. Thank you. I don't think Chuck won a race yet, did he? Maybe he did. I don't remember. I remember, he was very competitive. Homestead, but I think uh, maybe he got out of position from strategy somehow. I don't remember. Also, we had some really, we had several very fast people at Homestead. Still 1.2, so we're pretty even to Scott, it's like. That's good consistency. Keep it but it'd be kind of interesting to keep the uh, unique winners streak going. Every race so far, we've had a new winner. <laughs> kind of mirroring the real life NASCAR Cup Series this year. A whole lot of new winners. That. So that's fun. We got some parity in our K5 championship. <laughs> a little bit different from Mitch dominating the short track series. <laughs> but uh, Mitch has a win now in this one as well. So he might be uh, on his way back. He's also leading the championships at this point. So actually, I am quite interested in where he is running. I'm going to go through the field here while I have a moment. Still just making our way through this second run of the race. On the straightaways, I'll start scrolling through the field, and we'll take a look at where everyone's running. So of course, we got Chuck in first, Scott in second, and myself on the short step of the podium. Shane behind us, and JP has moved into fifth, with Wesley in sixth. Very interesting. We uh, apparently had a good green flag pit stop to be able to jump a couple of guys. Ryan back there. In 7th, and Gavin's made his way up to 8th. Sounds like uh, he might be doing well, despite what might may or may not have happened earlier on, where he was being a little bit, or having a little bit of trouble. The Laubics are right next to each other, James and David. Right, Landon in 11th, Mitch down there in 13th. So, um, trying to gain some points on him, if I can. Right now, in a good position to do so, but a lot of a lot of race left. We have just recently passed the halfway point. Good luck, 
time was at 31.4. Man, it's already tiring driving. Trying to be like a commentator is making it even more tiring. <laughs> but I do this willingly. Making a video here. It's fun. So, Rob down there 14th, Alex in 15th. Scrolling through, Nick in 17th. Looking to gain some points on him as well. He looks like he's having some struggles here at the best super speedway in existence by a long shot because it's not a super speedway <laughs> we have a lap car ahead that we are gonna have to find our way around Ryan Burkett don't recognize that name too much they might have been here a time or two before or maybe I just never noticed sorry <laughs> Man, I hope this goes green all the way. I don't. I still don't think I've ever done a caution-free race where we had multiple green flag pit stops. Almost had that earlier this season. I think that was Homestead where that was the case. But we very, may very well get it here. Having a great time so far. I need to refocus myself though. That was a tenth off that last lap. Got to smooth things out here. <laughs> We have someone using the access room? Oh, that was the Rick that was being very kind earlier. <laughs> and uh, celebrating everyone's passes. He might just be having fun. Just hanging out. He seems to be in last place. So maybe he had damage. Maybe he was just here to have fun. Which we all should be here to have fun. But I have fun competing too. So I take it too seriously sometimes. <laughs> but... All because in the end I'm trying to have fun. I am watching the gap behind me to JP back there. He is two and a half seconds back the last time I looked. Hey, that was a good corner. But even after that good corner, he has gained uh, 0.1. He's gained a tenth, so he might be on his way to me. He pit it three laps later, so naturally three lap fresher tires from him. Still feels good though, I say getting loose. Feels good, but I just did not do well there. It's good that it's getting loose though, much better than tight. I just gotta be a better driver. So we got three seconds to the leader, one and a half. Scott there in second. See how those times evolve. Ooh, Scott got tight, I think. He's going to lose some time from that, unless he uh, didn't actually have to lift at all. Just drifted. That might actually be the case, because he didn't lose much time at all, I don't think. He's driving hard. He kept momentum there. having a lot of trouble out of four. I'm having a little bit of trouble out of four. The car's getting pretty loose. Having to fight it a bit. Even more than I already was. Mm, even out of turn two now, it's getting a little bit loose. Scott's getting loose on the straightaway. <laughs> Holy smokes. Much better there, kept it steady. We are catching up to Scott all of a sudden. Not Chuck. Chuck is still keeping steady about three seconds. If I can avoid making mistakes, I might have something for Scott here before we head into the pits for our next 
Green flag pit stop. Go ahead and take your new motherboard right by me, Gavin. It's just new to me. <laughs> right, right. New is new, man. Got you here, right? Last lock was at 31.6. Yeah, that's right. Really glad Gavin could make it. Would have been really stinky <laughs> for him to miss a race, especially Nashville Super Speedway. Glad he can be here. The actor, Irvin, in front is now 1.1. Chuck is definitely the one to beat up there. He's fast and uh, keeping long term speed as well. He's got this track figured out. Man, Scott gets so close to the wall on exit. Maybe it's just the angle I'm watching him from, but it looks like he like gets it within. Yeah, it was really close. <laughs> It's like he gets it within a nose hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with I was looking in my mirror too much. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to let you go, and it about bit me and you. <laughs> and Gavin, I got scared there. I thought I was going to run into you. Yeah, I have to stop on the apex right now to get the car to turn. Ooh, he's tight. That. Interesting. So I'm feeling pretty good about how, how I'm doing on and then. Looks like aggressive on exit has really paid off for us, getting on the right rear. We are second behind Scott now. JP has stopped gaining on us, I think. Back there. We got lots of lap traffic coming, though. That could make it interesting. Oh, good, and it's uh, blinking. I don't know what I'm doing. That, that's helping. Actually, that I, might be Chuck. I hope he doesn't blink right out. That would, do so, that would be so. That would be so sad. Jumping on the throttle and then blinking out from the lead. The, the corner, I'm like feathering it a little bit. Other than that corner. Leaders, leaders, breaking bad. Not a great lap there. Tenth down on last lap. You've just done it. It's 1.7. What happened to Mitch, Brandon? Did he hit the wall or was he just hit? Something happened to Mitch? Take that inside, take that inside. Oh! Wow! That's... Okay, he's pitting pretty early there. I'm sticking to my plan. Lap 100. We'll see how that works out for him, though. Hey, you. Show him that we want the bottom. And then I just blow one through. We're halfway home. The gap to eight behind is now 2.7 seconds. Okay. Not as fast as we could have been through that corner, but that's okay. Woo! Now that was a four wheel drift. This is one of the funnest races I've ever been a part of. One of my favorite tracks. In my favorite car. Caution free for 96 laps now. Like, how could it get any better, man? This is awesome. This is so fun. Thank you, Dan. Doing well, same time. Oh, leader having to deal with faster lap traffic. That's no interesting. Problem. People coming into pit. I'm waiting till lap either 99 or 100. 99 if Chuck pits before me, 100 if he doesn't. I think is the way I'm going to do it. It also depend on what we have going on around us at the time. Pitting in the time, pitting in the time. Seems like a lot of people are pitting. 
Could get a caution with people entering the pits as well. It's tough getting into the pits here. That could be where we get a caution. There's Nick coming off pit road. There he goes. You have to watch out for him. He's going to have fresh tires. Should we go up to the wall here so we can get by? Good exchange, didn't really lose anything, except for getting loose, but that's my fault. Chuck has not pit yet, but we will be this lap, lap one. Ooh, good timing too, because I just got really tight. Shoot, I think I just missed my mark there. Pitting in here, pitting in. All right, on to pit road. We'll need to stop again to get to Could have been faster. Hey, Scott, I'm going to pit this time. Everything looking good. Go ahead and take Three, it on the inside, down the back. Three, two, one, one. Right here. All right, good stop. 66-60. Being more aggressive on throttle and exit really helped out that run. Yeah, that's what I've learned this race. Um, I'm curious to see what my, my tires are going to be next time. Alright, we got some space. I'm going to pit here, James. I'm going to pit. 82 pit. 82 pit. Back to it. How much time will we gain? One shot. 39 pitting. Jerry pitting, so he's going to want the bottom here. Still there, inside. The leader's pitting now. Clear inside. Inside. Keep high. Woo! Around the outside. Inside. Trying to keep as much momentum as I can. Every fraction of a second counts here. You stop blocking the bottom. No, he's not meaning to. Apparently I did work. I don't know what I did. You're in the top ten. In the top ten, despite Although, things not I cycling out yet. Until like the last five to ten laps. We have overtaken yeah, Chuck. Clear inside. To get behind us now. Not one four. Clear inside. But he's gonna come past us. I can almost guarantee you. Because he's faster than I am, and seemed to be doing just as well long run as well. We are essentially the leader. If this goes green. Please give me the bottom. Thank you, sir. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. 
Outside is clear. Car outside. Outside is clear. This is very important that I get around these cars as quickly as possible. This truck's got to make it through these same cars as well, and I want to be the one that got through faster. Especially when he has better tires. I don't know how I just say that. I truly do not have to know how I just say that. Oh goodness. Well, thank you for doing it, Jeremy. <laughs> Appreciate you for not bringing out a caution. Ooh, Chuck a second behind, but we've got to hold that for 43 laps, so. And on uh, older tires, that's going to be a tall order. Now hold on a second, because Scott is actually the real leader. I forgot he pit so much earlier. We're going to have to catch up to him, too. Totally forgot about Scott. He's got a big jump on us. He's got four and a half seconds. And he does not need to pit again. So look at me forgetting Scott out here. Oh. A little scary. We're okay. I just, I don't think I have it. I don't know if I have it for Scott. I don't think I have it for Chuck either. I think I might end up in third place again. We're, we're not even gaining on Scott. He's 4.4-ish up there. We're not even really gaining on him. track is in a fast state right now, too. That's how cool the track is. Feels very fast. Don't hit the wall. Okay, we gained a couple tenths on Scott there. And we got a lot of time. Ooh, that got really loose down there. I lost me a tent. Dang. Oh, these tents matter, man. When you got competition this tough, those tents matter. Those loose moments, all of it matters. Chuck's coming up fast. How hard do I want to fight him when he gets here? Because if we fight too hard, we're playing right into Scott's hand. But if I just let him go, I don't think there's any chance I get around him again, even if I can keep up with him. It's a tough call. I think he's too much faster, though. Three lap fresher tires. He's making his way to me. I think it's in both of our best interests for me to let him go pretty easy. Maybe he catches Scott and they battle. And then I'm the one in a good position. Maybe that's the way to do it. I follow him up towards Scott. Right, and near the end of the race, they're battling. Just kind of trying to plan out, trying to guess how this is going to go. Make you laugh? I think I just make it easy on him. I mean, you never know. Fighting too hard, we can get into each other too. You never know what can happen. But either way, I'm going to have to be decisive, commit one way or the other. Either let him go, fight him hard, go in halfway, it's not going to help anything. So I'll let him catch up to me. I'll run my laps, and then once he gets a nose on me, I will not make it hard on him. I think that's the plan. Coming up. 
This is, of course, assuming we're going to catch Scott. We might not catch Scott either. <laughs> either of us. Because he got a big advantage from that short pit. Yeah, I guess he's going to the bottom. Inside. Clear inside. Oh, thank you to him for doing that. This is the part where I let him go. Still there, inside. Thank you. No problem, I'm gonna try to follow you. We'll see about that though. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> He's definitely faster. So we're good on fuel. No pitting anymore. Once we get a caution. Scott might have this. We're not gaining him on him all that much. Oop. I follow him in the wall though. <laughs> that might have been prediction code that might not have actually happened. Nope, don't get loose. <laughs> oh boy, you got a little sideways there. Dang, we're not. I mean, 3.9 up there. Scott may have won this race undercutting, like he did. And back when I won that uh, Gavin hosted race here, at this uh, exact combo, if I'm not mistaken, it was an undercut that got me the win. I guess I should have seen that coming. I just felt like he undercut too much. I mean, he's got. Six lap older tires than we do, or than I do, even older tires compared to Chuck. <sighs> so about 31 laps, gonna need to gain more than a tenth to catch up to Scott up there. I don't know if I can do it, but he might be able to. Chuck might be able to, because he's pulling away from me. Could be the scenario I uh, suggested where those two uh, find each other late race, maybe start battling a little bit, and then suddenly I'm in the conversation. We'll see. He's a second. Chuck's a second ahead of me, though. I think he's going to reach Scott before the end of this one. This is going to be very interesting. You've just done a Chuck with such a wide entry. That's something. That's so wide. That's something I would want to practice before I actually tried it in a race. It really looks like it's working for him, though. I'm all about the wide entries, but he takes it a step further, and I think it's working. Next person back to me is Wesley, 4.2 seconds. We have a nice gap. Wait a second. Who's in first? <laughs> Who on earth is in first? I just noticed that we are in fourth. Scott's not even in first. I've been writing off whoever's in first. Who is it? It's Blair, right? Joe? Joe's out there trying to make it to the end, I guess. If Joe wins this, I will be so happy for him. That would be amazing. That would be so impressive, too, to be able to save that much fuel. I think he's probably just holding off for a, a caution, though. Wesley, James, I'm just going to say hi. I just don't see it happening. I don't see being able to make it that far, especially because he didn't make it to lap 75 on the first run. He went far, he went farther, but he didn't make it quite all the way. So 
So I would be shocked if he actually pulled it off, but... We got Rob behind us on 10 lap older tires. Hopefully he is patient and waits for a good time to get around me. Thank you. So I am still trying my best here to keep up, even though I'm not doing such a great job of it. I know he's got his own race as well, but... If he's got fresher tires, he should be able to set something up to uh, get a run off the exit and pass me on the straightaway or something. Such a tiring race, though. These long races are a workout. Your lap time was 21.4. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Outside. Who we got coming up real fast? Is that, I don't know who that is. Looks like somebody was making a huge run. I think that's still, still just Rob. Man, they're fighting for position, though. That lap time was 31.5. Thank you. Hmm. Awkward spot for everybody. Car inside. Still there. Clear. You're welcome, Chuck. Go get him. The gap behind is now 4.6. You've just done a 31.4. Thank you, Joe. Well, I had to try something different on strategy. Hmm. Okay, Colton. We're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 1.8. JP, I see you, brother. I was really interested if anyone's going to make it one stop. I was kind of rooting for the guys that were trying it. JP, this corner, bud. Me on exit, please. How are the one stoppers doing? Inside. Go. I don't think anyone's on one stop. No, I don't think anybody's driving. Inside. I thought the 30 might have been doing a one stop. I could be wrong, but he'll have to confirm that. Looks like guys were trying. I assume that's why they were going so long. Last lap time was at I figured Nick would be the one to try it, but he didn't. <laughs> I guess he was too much of a wimp. <laughs> Here's Joe. You do realize he goes back and listens to most of these, right? Are you kidding me? I mean, you called him a clear. That's not too bad. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Colton, I thought I went on the inside on the back stretch. I didn't see it, I'm sorry. Alright. That was terrifying. I think when I saw him go toward the inside on the straightaway on the backstretch, I thought he was just getting loose or something, to be honest, or letting 
the faster cars by. I did not know that meant he was pitting. I figured since he has voice chat, he would have called it out. But that's okay. No harm done, I don't think. Um, Jesus. Guys going on pit road looking sketchy. Alright, I need to catch my breath. So I don't think we're going to have any chance anymore. Uh, if those guys battle, I don't think we did anyway. I was holding on to hope, but I don't think there was ever any chance. Whew. Well, at least I avoided him. Alright. We're live. I don't think that's going to affect our result at all. Unless James catches me. Okay, well, there's your heart attack of the race, brought to you by Advil. Heart attack moment of the race. Okay, let's get this thing over with before a meteor hits me. I would love a P3. How close is Chuck to reaching Scott? Oh, he's within half a second. That is going to be a fun battle, I think, unless Chuck blows by him. I, I got to hold it together, though, because James will catch me if I start getting too, too lazy. Joe's on fresh tires. I'll give it to you low here, Joe. Your lap time was 31.6. Oh, I'll let you go when you get up here, Gavin. Clear. Rip up there. Wowzers. Well, I have to get through the guinea pig onto your tire. Oh, hey, sounds fun. <laughs> Two tires. Hey, maybe. What were my tires? 92 to 88 after that long run. Hey, that might have not have been a terrible idea. But as I said <laughs> before I even started here, I'm not doing anything too crazy this race. I was always going to do something pretty similar to what everyone else is doing because I'm tired of... My pedals quit working. <laughs> tired of uh, taking yeah, myself out of races with stupid ideas. And that sounds like another stupid idea I would have. Man, how does that happen? Left to go. So James catching, but I don't think I mean, fast enough, and he's got to worry about Wesley behind him as well. Oh, they are side by side essentially for the lead. That's some fun stuff. Very interested. Let's see what happens there. Probably Chuck with his better tires. We'll see. They were literally tied at the line last lap. That's amazing. I no longer can see it, I don't think, but. <laughs> I see you, Ryan. Yep, thank, thank you. This race has been so incredible, though. If we finish this thing off, 150 laps, green, two green flag pit stops, easily one of, if not the best, race I've ever been a part of. This has been awesome. Wouldn't it be tragic if it got ruined by, like, 
a green white checkered or something and everybody crashed each other. That would be so sad. I hope that doesn't happen. So, leader update. Chuck has gotten around and I don't think he's looking back. We're six seconds behind now after our, uh, after I didn't see Joe indicating that he was pitting and almost died. <laughs> but that's okay. Like I said, I don't think I was ever going to catch him. Scott, I mean, judging by uh, the rate I was catching him, I don't think I was going to reach him even if Chuck was. So that's okay. I don't think that affected me at all. Looks like we'll be able to hold on to P3. Although James is put making it making a hard push for us. Let me not uh, let me not give up yet here. Keep it moving. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Ooh, my hands are sore. Maybe I would have caught Scott. See him on the relative now, four or so seconds ahead. I probably lost about four seconds slamming on the brakes where I did. Who knows? I'm not going to worry about what could have been, though. All right, Gavin, you can cut that out now. Second or third, either way, both you are very... You down a little bit. <laughs> very nice. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate results. it. Results. I'll stay high too. Yeah, I'm still behind you. I'll stay high too. Alright, getting to that white flag. They should be getting it right about now. Don't be don't be hit second, sorry. Uh, we're Ross Chastaining. Mitch in 16th. So, a little bit of uh, points being gained on him here. You can try, but I don't think it's going to work for you. Yeah, I'm just kidding. My name is like Bob Morab. Yeah, I don't think I was catching Scott either way. Four seconds ahead still. I think we were going to get this spot all along. Thank you. Good race, guys. Great win, man. And this was an awesome race. That was so fun. Good one. How do you finish? Nice one. Yeah, great win. Great race. That was amazing. Good job, Shane. I just had nothing. <laughs> that was awesome. Favorite race I've ever been a part of. Thanks, guys. That was good racing there, guys. I don't have to cut on the sport for you. All right. Are you trying to, to make it on like, or I mean, are you trying to make it on the uh, like, five bus fuel or something? Ooh, nice. Yeah, I was way too loose on the first run, so I took fuel out, and then uh, about ten laps ago, I remembered, hey, I'm not gonna make it on fuel. I was like, corner short. I was wondering what you were doing down there. I was like, what? <laughs> Skipping with having to die off that road. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't know about any of you, but that race, I'm more sore after that race than I have been in in a long time. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm sweating. Yeah, not that I wanted to cost you, man, but my mouth is like the surface of Mars right now. Yeah, Gavin, that's awesome.
Ooh, yeah, that was definitely though, physically I, taxing. I, I gave up too much fun right there. I was having too much fun to care, though. <laughs> eighth different winner in eight races. Chuck gets the win. That's awesome. So we will bring in P3. We're going to gain a nice chunk on Mitch, who ended up 25th. Your points leader. Then we're going to gain on Nick. We might pass Nick in the points. We were very close to him in third place. We might take over his spot there. Gavin with an eighth place finish. Probably going to pull back a little closer as well. In fact, I think what I'm going to do here... Yes. I'm just going to go ahead and do this live. I will show you the standings. Since uh, I can. <laughs> Hopefully there's no, like, secret information no one's allowed to see right here. I can't think of what it would be, like, passwords on the screen. <laughs> so you're just going to see my desktop for a moment while we come check the results, which should be updated. I'm just so excited to see what these look like. We are P1. That is what I was thinking might be the case. So we will be P1 in the points after Nashville Super Speedway here. Mitch and Nick following behind us. Gavin, very close to Nick now. All three of them right there, very close. But you can see huge swings can happen in the points just with one race. And we got several of them left. So um, just got to keep doing my thing. Got to keep moving forward. Got to keep getting consistent finishes. So, all right, we'll check the incidents now. Very happy with that race. I felt like I could come and do good here, but I had to execute. I couldn't just assume it was going to go well. So I tried to remain focused, and we, we pulled it off. We got a podium finish there, P3. Love it. I got I to gotta get that done at tracks like these where I feel confident. Because uh, other tracks like USA next week are going to be less... Yeah, <laughs> Mitch uh, giving me a nice run. I um, feel like Mitch is going to be able to do well there, though. He's very, very good at those short tracks. So um, We're going to have to just uh, try to keep it, keep it clean on these tougher tracks like USA next week. Stay out of wrecks and stuff. So there's lots, lots of racing to go. Yeah, what did Mitch do? It was just outside the top 10, took three gallons out, and it wasn't enough, I guess? Is that what we were about to hear? It was like four laps short. Oh, man. Maybe optimistic. I lost a vowel somewhere in optimistic, but I'm sure he knows what I'm saying. So I'm going to try to be better about doing incidents while we talk to people. Oh, whoa, what happened? Oh, did Gavin, that's what happened with Gavin early on. Ooh, he just drove in a little harder. Oh, really, Zach got the worst of that there. Since you want to vote on the mod schedule? Uh, never raced.
Yeah, it would feel kind of wrong to go into like a different series and vote for anything and that I'm not even going to race. I do love that we can vote on schedules, though. I definitely voted on the Arca schedule. It's okay because it set up Savage Titan to do the same thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that is, I understand. I'll know. Yeah. <laughs> they have a tendency, the mod, the setup shops, to turn the mods series into a bunch of, like, no-lift, like, draft fests that don't really fit the car. And that I have heard enough about. I'll, I'll give it a look, like I said. I'll look into it. Uh, <laughs> I see. see you then. Will I type it before he leaves? Yes. <laughs> he tends to leave right after soon, So, All right, so that's what happened with Gavin there. Fortunately, Zach got it pretty bad. Was he able to recover for a decent finish? 17th? That's right where he started, so it wasn't catastrophic for him, at least it looks like. We just got some blinking. I believe the two might have blinked a little bit earlier. Yes. He did at least right there, so. Blinking from James. We'll have to skip past what he's got going on. Jeremy, some wall and entry? Yes. We're moving right along. I love how little we are seeing already on lap 36. Saw basically nothing. Just a little bit of that there. Ooh, this is a heavy wall, though. Oof. Yeah, he had to lift really hard. Alright. Ooh, that was close! That could have been a caution right there. <laughs> we tapped his right rear. I'm not sure the guy behind knew he was pitting right there. And so, thankfully that was okay. There's Rob. I was talking about Rob's YouTube earlier. Robski. Gronski? Robski. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, just subscribe to his channel. I'll probably look at some of his videos. Seemed like he had a uh, some good quality stuff on there. I checked before the race. Whoa. Oh, Nick watching the guy getting on pit road. A little funky. I think it might have uh, messed him up a bit. Yeah, what was happening there? Benoit, I guess that's how you would say his name. So he's trying to get on the apron to go to the pits. Having trouble keeping it down there, then he gets loose, gets on the grass, comes back up, and Nick's seeing that and thinking he might be on the track, so... Might have just gotten him a little unsettled. Moving right along. Still not much going on. There's your eventual winner. Chuck blinking out. I remember when he was doing that. I was afraid he was going to drop out. I'm glad he didn't. Oh, hey, yeah, I'm curious. Um, oh, my gosh. Chuck, please, calm down. You're going to win, okay? Settle down. <laughs> I'm curious. Um, what? If this were an actual 2.7k strength of field race, what would it get? 38... Everything. Okay, that's always just fun to take a look at. <laughs> just curious. Shane so a little bit of wall. Shane had a good run. Was he able to finish it off? He was. Pulled it on to a seventh place finish. He's got to be doing pretty well in the standings too. He might have missed a race or something though. He missed a race or two. I'm not sure, but he's always finishing well. Wall. Forward. 
Joe out there on old tires. He pits soon here. Quite soon. I want to go see the near miss. Which I know is going to be coming in a couple laps here. Okay, that's what that was. I thought he got loose. Yeah, I'm going to, if he's still here, apologize. Uh, I think he's leaving right now because of the ping. But I'll try. Hopefully he's still here. Sometimes the ping goes up like that because they had actually exited already. And, uh... Just hasn't shown up yet, I think, is how that works. Yeah, so that's what I was seeing right there from my cockpit. It looked to me like he got loose at it too. But it was actually him trying to say that he got, uh, he was doing a pit in. I just, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at, you know, the wall. How did he do? Wasn't awesome. So, um, I should have been thinking he was going to be pitting soon. And then how close was it? Coming in here, I just thought he was off pace because uh, he was on old tires. I still didn't think he was pitting in. And then right about here, he starts moving up a little bit. And that's when I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> and he did not start so far back. Start 32nd. Oh, yeah. Wow, you move forward a lot. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm awkward. Wow! <laughs> that is crazy. That looks even crazier than I remembered. I slammed on the brakes. Oh my gosh. Rob barely misses me. Wow. Is Rob still here? No. Holy cow. Thank you, Rob, for... The heads up driving. Ah, that could have been the end right there. I could have blown my engine. Oh my god. And then Rob could have hit me and sent me into the wall. That is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> That's incredible. I can't believe I slid it down in time. That is what you call, that could be a millimeter away from huge playoff implications. That is amazing. I mean, that's within netcode distance. Like, netcode could have decided I was, I was getting too close to him too fast and decided we ran into each other. And it would have been over. Because it decided that uh, I didn't slow down in time. You can see I was just 100% on the brakes. And <laughs> save it. Wow, how come? That's amazing. So glad that we survived that.
Ooh. And then just getting catching up to a lap car a little bit on exit there. I'm sure he probably imagined the lap car would let off for him, but it didn't happen. And then they met near the exit. Plus, he wasn't close enough to the wall there. So they come together. Oh, excuse me. Zach tapped the wall a time or two. We're getting the wall pretty good. And we are uh, just about to the end of this thing. Oh, I didn't know this happened. Scott into the wall. Dang, maybe I would have caught him. I'm so far back, though. Nah, I don't think we lost that much time from having to slam on the brakes. Maybe. I'm not so sure. And then these are just tires, I think. These might be tires burned off, hitting about 50%. And then the incidents yells us yells at us about him. And uh, there is Chuck enjoying his victory. Well earned. He was very fast. He had that very wide entry, it looked like. Late turn in. He was really good at keeping it steady on the throttle. And it really paid off. I gotta give that a go. I gotta give that a try. You were quick. I know. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> All right. So that'll do it for the incidents, and uh, that's all I have for you. I already showed the standings. I am four now in the lead. Uh, I'm going to head to USA next week. Not sure how I'm going to do there. Just going to try my best to keep out of trouble and uh, get to the places where I'm a little more comfortable, you know, like here at Nashville Super Speedway. Try to get some more strong finishes. But for now, I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope you have a good one. See ya.